have edited more than 2000 pictures this year and in this video i'm going to show you my step-by-step -step process on how i edit this image right here and to follow along i'll be leaving a link where you can get this whole file and shown below of this video now the first thing i'm going to do i'm just going to import the image to capture one so now to import image to capture one just come to your file first and create a new session so i'll come to my file i'll create a new section right here so i'm going to rename this session youtube video and just select where i want this session to be saved so this session is going to be saved under my picture you can see for the location and i'm going to click ok now you can see right now i've created a session and this session there's no image inside now the next thing i'm going to do i'm going to import my image to capture one and start editing now to import my image i've just come to my finder and look for the image which i want to edit now this is the image right here so i'm going to copy this image but it's not command c or Control c if i using windows and just come to my picture look for that capture one session which i created which is this youtube video right here and just paste that picture inside this capture folder right here by pressing up ctrl v or command v to paste if i come back to my capture one and i come back to my capture folder you can see i've successfully import that picture to my capture one right now okay now next thing i'm going to do i'm just going to balance the exposure of this image so i'll come to my adjust right here once i come to my adjust I just take down the highlights a little bit like so i'll open up the shadow a little bit like this also i'll come to the level slider and just move this black slider inside like this and also come to the white slider which is the highlight and just move it inside like this i'm also going to desaturate the whole image so i'll come to my color i'll come to my base characteristics and change the icc profile from the icon z8 to Leica m monochrome like this i go to my Leica and choose this monochrome neutral right here and just going to desaturate the entire image for this image most of the thing i did was inside capture one and i just do a little bit of retouching inside of photoshop and i'm going to show you in a bit now the next thing i'm going to do i'm just going to select the skin tone of my subject and just desaturate it right so i'll come to this layer and mask right here under this layer mask i'm going to click on this drop that arrow just click on new empty layer once i click that new empty layer i'm just going to select the skin of my subject and work only on the skin of my subject all right now to do that i'm going to pick on this ai brush tool right here so once i select this ai brush capture one ai will automatically mask the skin for me so you can see once i select the skin it's just going to mask the skin i'm going to click on the skin right now and it's going to mask the skin also i'll come to the face just click on the face like that also come to the leg and click on the leg like this if i press m on my keyboard you are going to see the mask if i press m again it's going to hide that selection so i'm going to press m and under this adjustment layer i'm going to right click and just click on refine edge once i click on refine edge i'm just going to use 80 a radius of 80 and click ok so that the edges of the mask is going to be smooth it's not going to be hard all right now you can rename this layer as skin tone like this all right now next thing i'm going to do i'm just going to even out the skin tone and just try to desaturate the skin tone a little bit now to do that i'll come to my color under my color i'll come to my color editor now under color editor you are going to see skin tone right here i'm going to select my skin tone and click on this picker tool once i click on this picker tool i'm going to select any part of the skin i want the rest part of my skin to look like which is a reference all right so I'm going to make this part right here as a reference. I'm going to select it. Okay. Now, once I select that part, you can see it has sampled that color for me. Now, what I'm going to do under the skin tone, I'm going to scroll all the way down and come to this uniformity. So I'm going to be playing with the hue and saturation of the uniformity slider. All right. So I'll move the hue up like this and also move the saturation up like this. And just like you can see right now, it has made the skin to look different. So I think I'm going to take the hue down a little bit and also take the saturation down a little bit like this. So, so let's see the before and after. Just take a look at the skin tone. So see the before and the after. The before and the after. Looking so much better. Now next thing I'm going to do, I'm going to make another selection of the skin tone. So I'll click on this drop that icon again and click on new 
empty adjustment layer. So once I create that new adjustment layer, so instead of manually selecting the skin tone again, what I can do, I can just right click and just copy mask from the skin tone. So you're just going to copy the mask we have for the skin tone on this adjustment. So if I press M on my keyboard, you can see we have that mask right now. So I'm going to press M again to hide that mask. Now next I'm going to do, under my color again, I'm going to scroll all the way down. This time I'll come to advanced instead of skin tone. Once I come to advanced, I'm going to sample the color of the skin tone like this. All right. And just take down the saturation a little bit, as you can see. Also, take down the lightness a little bit, just like this. All right. So let's work for me. So let's see what's starting from where we are right now. So this is the before and the after. The before and the after. Like I said, most of the thing I did was inside of Capture One. The next thing I'm going to do, I'm just going to add contrast to this image, right? So I come to my background layer again, which is this image one, and just come back to adjust. And this time, I'm going to take this part inside a little bit more like this, and take this part inside a little bit more like this to add more contrast to the image. So, so where we started from and where we are, where we started from and where we are. So the next thing I'm going to do, I'm just going to take this image inside of Photoshop and do this skin retouching and also a little bit of background manipulation. Now to do that, I'm just going to right click. So once I click on this image right here, right click on it, I'm going to click on edit with and click on edit with Adobe Photoshop right here. And I'm going to use PSD, my CC profile is on Adobe RGB and just leave this one as default and just click edit variant. So once this image opens inside of Photoshop, now if I continue, if you've learned from this video so far, let me know in the comment section, right? Now once our image opens inside of Photoshop, I'm just going to duplicate my background layer by pressing on Command J or Control J, then I'm going to crop my image. So I'm going to pick my crop tool and just change the ratio to 4x5 because it works best for Instagram and just crop the image 4x5 for Instagram. So that this works for me, I'm going to click on OK. And for the top, what I can do, I can just use the generative fill to fill the top right there. And if you don't have the generative fill, you can use the content RF fill. Now to do that, I'll pick my rectangle marker tool like this and just make a selection of the image like this, where I want to see, you just click on generative fee. And if you can see your generative fee right here, just come to your windows and click on contest track tags bar right here, and it's going to open. So I'm going to click on generative fee and just leave it blank and just click on generate. So you can see it has three option now. See the first option, the second option, and the third option. So I think this third option works better. I'm going to leave it, see the before. In the after so i'm going to merge this directive fill layer and this layer one together i'm pressing on command e or control e to merge them all right now next i'm going to do i'm just going to do the skin retouching for this image and i'm going to be using the retouch for me to do it so i'll come to my action right here and just click on the retouch for me right here now what this retouch for me is going to do it will automatically retouch my image for me so it's going to automatically do my global dodge and burn my method of jump on and also automatically remove the blemishes for me from this image. And if you want this retouch on me, I'll believe in the link where you can get it in shown below. And if you use that link, you are going to get 25% off any purchase you make right now. And also, I only advise you get the retouch on me if you actually need it and if you are making money off photography and retouching because it's quite expensive. What I use is to fasten my workflow and it has been working for me. I do it for all the image I retouch, all right? So let's just wait for it to load right now and you are going to see the before and the after. All right, it has finished loading. Let me go show you the before and after. So this is before I retouch on me and after I retouch on me. Just take a look at the image, the before and the after. And like I said, inside this group, we have the heel, which is to remove the blemishes. So see the before and the after. You can see that I removed the blemishes for us. Also, we have the micro the jump on. So the before and the after. We also have the global the jump on, the before and the after. And you can choose to take this one opacity up if you want like this. So the before and the after. And we also have the eye vessels right here. If there's any uh, red veins or the eyes, so it's going to remove it on you. So the before and the after. So that's what is inside the group. All right. Now this image is looking good already. So next thing I'm going to do, I'm going to create a stamp visible layer by pressing on command option shift E. Once I create a stamp visible layer, I'm going to come to my filter. I'm going to come to my Reblom and just use the Reblom retouch to enhance the image and retouch it even more. 
Now, the Ublon will touch will automatically help me retouch my image and still maintain the natural feel of the image. So, that's why I like using this Ublon. It's natural and the result is really, really amazing. And if you want to try Ublon for several days free trial, check the link in the description below of this video. So, let me just zoom in so you can see the before and after of the Ublon retouch. So, you can see. So, this is the before and the after. The before and the after. Just a subtle difference. And you have two options. We have the natural and we have the fashion so let's try the fashion i'm gonna go fashion right here let's see the effect all right the before and the after the before and the after so i think i like this fashion you can see the image is looking good and it's still okay natural so i'm going to click on okay right here all right so let me just group everything i did so you can see what we started from and where we are right now before i continue all right so this is where we started from you can see the way the image is looking and this is where we are right now where we started from and where we are right now so I'm not going to be doing focal execution for this image. I like the way the skin is looking like this. It's looking natural. It's looking good. The next thing I'm going to do, I'm just going to make the clothes smooth. All right. Now to do that, this is a new trick I learned. So I want to create a sample symbol there by pressing on Command Option Shift E or Control Shift Alternate A. When it comes to my filter, I just come to Camera Filter. Once I come to Camera Filter, remember I want to work on the clothes and just make it smooth. So I come to my masking right here. Set my Camera and just wait for these people to load. So while these people load, I'm gonna click on it. And for me, we have the option to select the entire person or to select specific parts of the image. So I want to select the dress. So I'm gonna click on close right here and to automatically select the clothes for us. I'm gonna click on create mask right now. Since my clothes is selected, what I'm going to do to smooth it out, I'm gonna scroll all the way down and just come to my texture right here and just take this texture down all the way to 0% as you can see all right so let me quickly show you the before and after for the dress so take a look at the dress the before and the after the before and the after so i'm going to click on ok now i'm going to repeat that same thing again so i'll come to my camera filter i'll come to camera again i'll make a selection of the dress Click on close, click on create mask, scroll the way down, come to the texture and just take down the texture even more like this. So you can repeat this process. When I was editing my, I think I repeated it about six times. So you can just keep repeating it. I'm going to click on OK like this. All right. So just take a look at the dress right now. So you can see the before and the after. So this is the before and the after the before and the after you can see it's looking smooth now you can also use your remove tool to remove those um lines on it so just pick your remove tool and just remove those lines right there on the dress click on okay like so i'm just going to remove it all right so the before and the after that's for the dress all right so i'm also going to remove this distraction right here so i'm going to use my remove tool to just remove this distraction right there the next thing I'm going to do, I'm going to add a little bit of overlay to the background. So I'm going to create a stamp symbol now by pressing on Command Shift button it's E. So I'm going to select my subject. So I'll pick on any selection tool. So I'm going to select, click on this quick selection tool and just click on this angle right here. Click on Cloud to get a more accurate selection. And just click on Select Subject. And it's just going to automatically select my subject for us. What I'm going to do, I'm not going to remove this part from the selection because I don't want this part to be on the selection. All right. Now I'm going to invert the selection. Now your selection doesn't have to be perfect, so let this work for me. I'm going to invert the selection by pressing on Command Shift I or Control Shift I. Once I invert that selection, I'm going to press on Control J. Also, I'll come back to my subject layer. So I'm going to rename this layer as Subject and rename this layer up as Background. So if you're learning something new, let me know in the comments section. All right. So once I rename this subject and background, I'm going to select my subject layer. Once I select my subject layer, I'm going to hold Command. Or control and click on my background layer to bring back the selection instead of making the selection all over from scratch so i'm going to invite the selection by pressing on command shift i or control shift i and this time just had a layer mask to hide my subject so i'm going to take this background layer below my subject layer now once i do that next thing i'm going to do i'm just going to drag and drop the overlay that i want to use for this image so i'm going to locate where that overlay is so i think it's on my download so i'm not going to click and just drag it to my image like this all right click on ok and from here i'm going to change the blend mode from normal to soft light once i change it to soft light i'm just going to reduce the opacity all the way down 
like this that this works for me now you can see it's not that visible but it's there so see the before and the after so you can choose to take the opacity up a little bit to make it more visible so the before and the after now what i'm going to do i'm not going to remove that overlay from this green cut right here so i can either use my normal brush tool to change the foreground color to white and just paint it on this green clothes right here to remove that overlay on this green clothes so see the before and the after and you have the ability to play with different overlay and see which one works for your image so let's try this one i'm going to click and drag this one to my image let's see the effect for this okay so i'm going to change it to soft light just reduce the opacity and see how it looks right so let's see the before and after so for the overlay the before and the after the before and the after and the final thing i'm going to do for this image i'm going to come to my action i'm going to click on noise and just reduce the opacity of the noise to about 30 percent and finally i'm going to click on my reach tone right here so i learned this from post missing i'm just going to make the image looks overall dark like this and you can just play with the opacity and just take it down like this so i think 20 works for me for this image so let me just go back with my idea so you can see where we started from and where we are right now all right so see our before and after our before and after so this is how i retouch this image from start to finish and if you want to learn more retouching tutorial check out this playlist right there i'll see you guys in my next one take great care